Hello my sweets, welcome back to Beauty Meets DIY. This is Helen, thank you so much for watching. Today's video is gonna be a little long. Nonetheless, I hope that you enjoy it. So to start out, we're going to recreate this beautiful new uh, perfume that's out and it's by Yves Saint Laurent and it's called Libre. And I've heard so much about this perfume and how beautiful and wonderful it smells. I have not had the opportunity to smell it. If you have, please leave me a comment down below. Um, as you can see, it comes in a taller one and a shorter one, and we're gonna recreate the taller one today, or in both sizes, I mean, we're gonna do the larger one. And this was a request from one of my subscribers. Her name is Ama, or Ama, but I think it's Ama. So Ama, if you're watching, I hope you enjoy this video. So to get started, you're going to need one of these blocks, uh, glass blocks that I got at Hobby Lobby. Um, now it was $10, it was a little uh, expensive. Please try to get them when they are on sale or 50% off. This is a three and a half by seven and a half and you might find it at Hobby Lobby, I'm not sure, but nonetheless I will leave links down below. If you can't find it, you can use something like this, like a spice jar. I'm just giving you option, you guys. As, you know, as long as it's something clear, container-like, these um, square vases, you can turn them upside down and use this. So again, I'm just giving you guys some ideas because those glass blocks are sometimes hard to find. Uh, but I will leave the links down below to what I can find. So you're gonna need uh, some kind of a napkin holder or um, I'm using the one from the Dollar Tree just to serve as the neck to the perfume bottle. And eventually I'm gonna go ahead and glue that together um, to the top there so you can open and close it as you please. Um, but yeah, go ahead and use what you have on hand. And to create the top, I decided to use uh, a piece of styrofoam that I had. Uh, and as you can see, the neck of the perfume bottle has to be the same width as the top so that's what we're doing so I'm just kind of cutting down shaving down as you can see by the picture I have to try to recreate that little slope curve that the perfume bottle top has and so I'm going to do my best don't worry about this knife it may look sharp but it is absolutely not go ahead and use what you can uh, coming right up you're gonna see that I'm going to even use a, a spoon to help me kind of scoop it out um, this is just the option that I went with. You can use some clay and mold it into the shape. Whatever it is that you, however you get creative, go ahead and do that. But this is what I decided to do. So I'm gonna go ahead and spray paint this black once I'm done uh, molding it into the shape that I want. While, while that is drying, I have these beautiful ribbons in gold and silver. You've seen me use this before. I will link them down below. I'm going to go ahead and use the thinner one in gold to help mimic the what's on the neck of the perfume bottle. So um, as you can see, I'm only doing it halfway because the rest of it is gonna go inside uh, the top. And go ahead and use your strongest glue, you guys, throughout this video or throughout your DIYs if you want that permanent hold. So once that was dry, I did Mod Podge it and uh, covered it with glitter, but my husband was like, no, it doesn't look good. <laughs> It looks like a rock, it looks like a piece of charcoal. So I was just like, so upset. Um, so <laughs> I decided to grab some of this glittered uh, uh, cardstock paper that I had and kind of decided to wrap it up like a gift. Uh, and as I did that, I was just trying to keep the integrity of the shape of the top that I still wanted. So I was really trying my best to make this look a little better than a piece of charcoal or a piece of rock. And I think in the end, I achieved that look. And I have to say he was right. It did turn out to look better. So now I'm just covering and painting the seams. And I did end up um, covering everything in some glitter again. I don't know, you guys. I think I'm glitter obsessed. I try to glitter, I think everything looks better with a little glitter. <laughs> so um, I just did that so it can kind of just help to disguise the little seams. But I think in the end it turned out really good. All right, so this printout here, I'm going to leave the exact size of the one that I use in the description box below. If you do not have a Cricut machine like I do, you can simply cut this out and Mod Podge it to the bottle and then maybe you can cover it with some gold paint or something like that, just like I'm showing you here. 
or you can cut it out, trace it into some gold self-adhesive paper like the one that I'm gonna use by Cricut and you can cut it out and you know use it that way but since I have a Cricut machine to cut it out for me what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove everything except the letters I'm going to remove all the excess um, gold paper as you can see here and then I took a clear contact you know self-adhesive just to pick up my letter so that I can then transfer it into or onto my bottle and you'll see more of that as I go along. Another example, you've seen me do this Cricut thing before in other videos. But yeah, so as you can see, I'm guiding, my say, guiding myself by the bottle. I don't wanna go too far up or too down below. And I just decided to place it right there. And once I make sure that it's nice and um, you know down to the bottle or adhere to the bottle, then I go ahead and remove that clear paper. All right, moving on to our next DIY. This is Z Gallery Perfume Bottle. Well, it's like a perfume frame, and it's $30. This one here, I wanted to show you that I got this at the at home. I get a lot of questions about this sometimes when I feature it in my videos. Uh, I got this at the at home store in their section where they have all the picture frames, and I think it's beautiful. It's the same thing, and I think it just costs like a few bucks. So this is another option, but today we're gonna take the inexpensive route and I'm going to show you how you can just simply take a Dollar Tree frame and this one also comes in gold I think it's really pretty just a dollar and you can create your own basically so what I did was that I picked up these kind of like acrylic gems that you can find at Michaels or Joann's kind of like where they have all their bees and everything that you need to make jewelry you can find those there And so you definitely want to use your um, your strong glue or your super glue rather with um, some hot glue so just to make sure that it stays in place and you want to use a frame like this one that kind of has like a flat edges so it can stay in place here I just decided that this is the way that I wanted to position it and just like that you have created a very similar perfume frame and so now I'm taking some of that um, rhinestone diamond ribbon I will link this down for you guys below you see me use this before in my previous videos I did go ahead and embellish the neck of the perfume bottle so to speak and now I'm just going all around the frame just to give it that little extra something moving on to our next DIY you're going to need one of these round cutting board um, from the Dollar Tree they're glass some of them come in square and the round one and I'm just taking this styrofoam piece and gluing it there because what I want to do is I want to place some flowers and these um, didn't have I just had in my stash that didn't have any stems or anything like that I'm just kind of just placing them around my little cutting board there and then the other flowers that you see to the side I'm going to use to fill in all the gaps where I didn't have enough of these. And what we're creating now is a beautiful perfume stand. Guys, if you're enjoying this video so far, please give me a thumbs up. I would love uh, for you to give me those thumbs up. They keep me motivated and nothing's gonna let me know more than those thumbs up that you are enjoying my videos and that you want more from me. I would really appreciate it. So now, so now I grab these beautiful um, metal trays from the Dollar Tree. They have the square, the oval ones, and at one time they had the round ones, but they don't anymore. And here I'm just showing you your options. You have these three different size tea light holders that the Dollar Tree has. You can also use their glass candle holders. Um, I'm going to end up using this one that my friend gave me. And these are just uh, like an ice cream a glass also from the Dollar Tree so you go ahead and use what you want I decided to use this one and I'm gonna go ahead and grab some of these um, acrylic gems from the Dollar Tree fill that in just to kind of give it a little something and again you want to go ahead and use your strongest glue I can't express it enough because uh, this is something it was gonna hold your perfumes you want this to be you know you don't want it to fall apart on you so I'm just applying more gems just to kind of, you know, 
hide the seams there of everything. And now I'm going to glue on this one on top. And here I use one of the uh, those uh, Dollar Tree um, tea light holders and now I'm going to place my piece on top and I thought this was so so beautiful um, that it was really different and very classy and elegant and feminine I would say romantic and later I will show you how I style this so in the meantime we're gonna move on to our next DIY you're gonna need a printout of the CC Chanel logo I will also link this down for you guys below go ahead and cut this out all the way once you have cut that out you're gonna need some kind of a plastic piece this you get on with your packaging when you buy something you want something like this or another alternative would be like the um, white placemats from those hard white placemats plastic ones from the Dollar Tree that's another option you definitely want to use something like this and so now I'm just cutting out that same CC logo onto that plastic and now I decided to use my big chunky crushed glass and the gold and the silver you see me use this um, below I will link it down you can find this in my Amazon storefront if you're interested I love this glass I can't get enough of it <laughs> so here I'm just gonna show you what I'm doing so basically I'm just grabbing my pieces okay and I'm gluing them down going along the um, I guess I'm just covering the CC basically with the crushed glass um, and you know you got to kind of pick your pieces you know um, make sure they're intertwined and they look good when you place them down that they fit nicely together and that sort of thing so basically I'm covering one side of that CC and that's what that one side looks like so now you're gonna flip it around you're gonna flip that around and I'm going to use one of these um, string lights that you always see me using I like these because they have that little small discreet little battery uh, light I will link these down as well for you guys so now I'm just going to glue down the lights I will say I go over it twice I go over it twice and then the leftover string light you'll see what we're gonna do so that's that and so obviously now we want to go ahead and cover the other side of the CC or you're going to go right over the light and cover it with some more of that crushed glass. And so that's what we're going to do. So I do recommend that you use some type of a glue with this, some kind of a super glue with your hot glue. Hot glue alone is not going to keep this in place, you guys. So that's what that's looking like now. So we're going to put it to the side just for a few minutes and we're going to grab two mirrors, two round mirrors from the Dollar Tree. These are the ones they first had with the beveled edge. They still have some round ones, you can use those. And I'm also going to grab these little blocks also from the Dollar Tree. I'm going to grab four of them. And this is going to serve as spacers uh, for both of my mirrors, if you will. I just want to create a gap. And so what I'm doing now is that I'm kind of placing my CC on top because this is going to be like a little light fixture. And then since we're going to continue using the string light, I'm just placing it uh, where I want it to be so that I'm not tugging at the CC and then I can continue wrapping with the string light on the inside and you'll see uh, as we go along what exactly it is that I'm doing so once I uh, measured out where it is that I want it I'm going to go around the mirror a few times until I'm done and once that's done we are going to place the other mirror on top and then just make sure it's leveled and you know that the edges are not off centered or anything and now we're going to go and fill up those gaps again with some more of that crushed glass you can also do this with the acrylic diamond gems from the Dollar Tree you guys so you don't have to use a crushed glass you can also do this same thing with the uh, acrylic diamonds so now we're going to place this on top and this is the reason why I had to kind of measure because I wanted uh, to make sure I wasn't you know tugging at the string light 
that it wasn't too short or too long so that I can place the CC on top. All right, so my next DIY was inspired by this beautiful Chance Chanel perfume bottle that I absolutely love. As you can see, they come in four different scents. I'm going to be recreating the pink one today. Now, I did get this plastic container from Walmart. Initially, I ordered the very same one in glass, and it arrived shattered to my house. And when I read the reviews, a lot of people the same thing happened but as you can see from the bottle you want the sides to be narrow like this kind of like a fish bowl this is another example here ideally I would have loved to have found this vase but I didn't so this is the next best thing next best thing but you want this shape type of a thing so with my Cricut I went ahead and I printed out the um, chance in the bottle you can see that the chance is in gold so here I'm just removing the excess of what I'm not gonna need I'm going to apply that clear uh, contact paper, if you will, and that's going to make sure to pick up my letter so that I can then transfer it onto my perfume bottle inspired vase. I thought this was pretty unique. I've seen the other one that has been done with the... Uh, the Chanel the uh, square one but I wanted to do this chance uh, so any kind of fish bowl you can go to the uh, pet store and find those like fish um, fish bowl type of thing for the fishes <laughs> that have the shape and you can do it this way um, this bottle say oh the tendre that's how you say usually they say oh the perfume but this one said that one I'm sorry you guys I can't speak French <laughs> so now for this one you can see you see me use this glass block plenty of times this has two openings so basically if you just want to use the rounded part you will leave that big piece inside and it will leave you with the rounded part but if not you take it all out all together and you have that you're left with that big opening so um, some of them have this opening, some of them don't. Uh, but you can find these at Hobby Lobby and at Michael's. Uh, again, with my Cricut, I went ahead and printed out this huge Chanel logo. And I absolutely love the way that this turned out. Um, now I'm just kind of centering it as best as I could. I am the worst at centering things, you guys. Absolutely the worst. Plus, I wasn't feeling well. You can probably still hear it in my voice. So I did the best that I could, you guys. So now, coming up, I'm going to show you how to style everything. And this is how it turned out, you guys. I am absolutely in love. I absolutely love anything perfume bottles. I will turn anything into a perfume bottle. So when my subscriber suggested this, I was so happy because it was right up my alley. Like, I would just love the way this bottle turned out. If you're wondering what the liquid is inside, it's actually water, and I used uh, food coloring, uh, temporary food coloring, just to give it the illusion that it is perfume inside it, and I just love the way that it turned out. But um, here's our little frame here as well. Let me know what you guys think about these DIYs. Let me know if you're gonna recreate this. And if you're not into Chanel, Chanel or Yves Saint Laurent, then I wanna know which perfume you're gonna try to recreate. Here's our CC light. I think it turned out different and unique. I absolutely love it. And here is our perfume a tray absolutely romantic you can even use this for a centerpiece at a wedding if you really wanted to um, but i think it's just unique and beautiful to display all your beautiful perfumes and that jewelry and that sort of thing here i dimmed the lights a little bit more and so you can see what that cc light looks like and here is the piece de resistance in my opinion. This is beautiful Yves Saint Laurent bottle. Let me know if you're gonna recreate this. I will do my best to leave a link to these uh, glass uh, bottles shaped this way. They're not easy to find, but I will definitely try to do that. And here is our Chance Chanel inspired perfume um, vase. So if you decide to put food coloring, just know that whatever flowers you have, you will wake up to some pink flowers because the flowers will absorb the food coloring. But I don't absolutely mind. I love pink, red flowers, any kind of flowers I love. Let me know your thoughts down below. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you're going to recreate any of these. And as always, please give me those thumbs up. They really help me out. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, everyone.